Hi friends, welcome back to my channel and welcome back to another grocery haul. I hope you guys enjoyed um, going shopping with me at Costco. That's where I got the majority of all of this stuff from, though I did stop at Target afterwards to pick up a couple of things that they didn't have. Um, it's getting pretty late, it's almost six o'clock, so the light is dying down, um, so I do apologize for that, but I did spend a pretty penny. I'll give you the totals at the end and then um, I want to try to remember to get the totals of all of January for everything that I spent on groceries. Um, so if you guys like these videos, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. And then let's go ahead and show you what we got. All right. So I had to use dining room table today because it was a lot of stuff. And then, um, like I said, I went to Target as well. So. I did kind of mix everything in. If I remember the prices, I'll try to say them. Um, but I probably, I really don't remember very much. So <laughs> we will see. But uh, starting over here, I grabbed these Morningstar veggie sausage patties. I know that my 14-year-old um, daughter really likes these and I wanna try to have something um, different than oatmeal in the morning or at least some protein. So I thought this would be good and I think it was on sale for like $10 and some odd cents. Don't remember exactly. They did not have any lactose-free milk at Costco, so that is one thing that I picked up from Target. And I did pick up six. They're $2.99 a piece at Target, um, but my daughter already busted into one to make her macaroni and cheese. Uh, let's see. Oh, the Hint Water uh, was just in passing at Target. My son, my 16-year-old, uh, says that he really likes this Hint Water and they were a dollar a piece. I thought I only grabbed five, but I guess I grabbed six, doesn't matter. So those were a dollar. And then these are my all-time favorite bars, the Cliff Bars. And if you guys, um, don't know if this is one of your first videos me and my mom who we live together are both doing plant-based and um, these cliff bars actually are plant-based um, not all of them but these ones in particular are which is awesome this was a find at Costco it is three of the oat milks in there and then this is uh, Target's brand, the Good and Gather of plant-based um, buttery spread. So I had grabbed two of those in like the spread style and then two of the sticks. And I think they were like $3.99 or $4.99 a piece. I'm not sure. Not the best price, but it was, it was you know, I don't know, comparable, I guess. And then Target only had two of my creamers, so I just took the last two that were remaining. And then this, you guys, if you saw my shop with me, this was a sweet find. It's new. Um, it says that they're keto certified. We are not keto. Like I said, we are plant-based. But it was plant-based and keto, and I thought, oh, that's so cool. Not a lot of things are. Um, but these are Simply Protein. It's got... Um, peanut butter chocolate, lemon coconut, that sounds really good, and um, dark chocolate and sea salt. Not a fan of peanut butter bars, but I like those, so my mom might try those. Those look very good, I'll have to let you know. This was a new find as well, this chicken alfredo tagliatelle, <laughs> I don't know what that means, um, with fresh spinach, but I think it is just the pasta, the sauce, and the chicken, and it feels like it's just one. I'm not finding like a center here, so it's just one, but um, it's definitely gonna make a lot of leftovers, and this will be one of those meals for the kiddos. Oh, we're gonna have that tonight, so carrying on. Um, I picked up the pure protein bars because my 16 year old is always looking for something to up his protein intake. He doesn't, he's not very hungry and um, so we wanna try to get um, a good amount of protein into him every day so things like this will help. And then I picked up uh, some Cheerios for the baby. Let's see, oh this was new. I am excited about this. I love Thai coconut curry. I can make coconut curry. It's easy, but having something like this on hand um, is just very convenient. I think this is like eight something for the both of those. And then this was also new. It's a double pack. 
and it is organic gnocchi and it is vegan yay and it's just potato um that's what gnocchi's made out of and then these right here i thought would be a quick easy option for us as well might be something i try to eat tonight but it was 10 patties it's the crispy chicken um plant-based as well and they have a 20 no 12 grams of protein um per burger which is great super easy way to get some protein in if you're plant-based and then mac and cheese just for the kiddos they really like that after school come home and usually heat one of those up and um we've been doing pasta a lot and um so i just grabbed two of these these were the lesser expensive of all of the pasta sauce that was there and then let's see here um let's go right here because everything's falling off my bench so i know you can't see it very well but um i just i don't know i love trying to find like a really comfortable pair of leggings and then these all have like the cell phone pocket which i love i wear these to work um these are like that what is it yeah the 32 degrees cool so these ones i guess keep you a little bit more cool instead of hot which i love oh the other thing is they have pockets and then these are like a mix between a legging and a pant they don't have front pockets but they have a nice thick band and then they have butt pockets and i think these are all like 15 dollars. i think one of them was on sale for 11. i don't remember which one but that's what those are and then these I picked up from Miss Hannah because she won't stop growing. That's kind of what kids do. These are the 24 month size and it comes with three. They're not, um, they don't have feet, but they have these cutest little things on the bottom. And I actually really, sorry, you probably weren't seeing that. I actually really, really like these, but these were $15 for the three pack, which I thought was a good deal as well. And then let's see, I picked up just a couple more straw cups for her. She likes those ones. This was in the clearance section, $3 for Cameron. I don't know if you guys noticed over here, but I have a puzzle under there that the family has been working on. And um, Cameron has been interested in doing a puzzle. So I just saw this, thought I'd grab it. And then how cute are these? I thought one was broken when I was messing with it. No, they're not. Um, three little shelf risers for five dollars i love target's dollar spot i also picked this up from target's dollar spots five dollars it's probably super crappy quality but i thought i would try and then this fell this is what i entertained the baby with when we were in target um she liked the noise it made i don't think it's supposed to stay on the string but i'm not really sure uh i don't know what it's called what does that say busy bolts construction set so match colors and shapes. Oh, I guess there's two of each. I don't know. She liked it, <laughs> but anyhow, let's see. Got all of that. Okay, so um, picked up the trifecta of berries here. Um, black raspberry strawberries. And then we've already busted into these. I forgot how good these were. I did learn that it does say that you should store these in your fridge. I kept finding that they were molding. And then when I um, actually read it, it says to store it in your fridge. So just a heads up on that. While I was at the store, my daughter texted me and asked if I could pick up some salad for her and some uh, dressing. I was already past the salad. So I got this at Target. It's like two bucks. And then um, this was like... A last grab thing i uh, love that olive garden dressing can't eat it but do love it um got the three color peppers here that from costco and then i go back and forth between liking these and then liking like the um, hot house cucumbers but um this is just easier because i can just grab these and throw these in my bag whereas the other ones i have to like cut up and i'm finding i just don't have time for that <laughs> It's sad, but I don't. Uh, two bundles of bananas, a big thing of sweet potatoes my mom requested, and then um, pears my daughter requested, and oranges my mom has been eating. 
and then I'll get to that stuff in a second. Um, if you guys saw, I grabbed one of these. We have some gnarly bushes outside, um, so I wanna get those trimmed up. This was, I think, $25 for this set. And then I did grab the thermometer set. Just nice to have it for the chicken for the kids. Um, I know I'm not eating meat, but it was only $10 for uh, the three of them, so thought that was a good price. And now I need to make my way over here on the back end but um i picked this guy up i have been eating oatmeal almost every morning um for breakfast and i like to use focus that's a kasori over there which just boils the water really quick i can pour the water on top um throw a plate over it and it cooks in like a couple of minutes but we ran out of it and i've been using like the original oatmeal like quaker oatmeal and you gotta cook it on the stove and i'll be it tastes good but again i'm all about like quick and convenient so grab this guy i'll let you know if i remember how that is and then these are at one of the ends it's plantain chips which is a banana but it also is pink sea salt so i'm not sure how a banana with sea salt will taste but maybe it'll be good and then my mom will be happy about these picked her up the trail mix packs that she really likes just kind of tossing in her purse and then peanut butter um she also requested some more peanut butter so i believe that um was everything for prices that i give you i did pick up um it was twenty dollars let me turn you around okay it got like super dark <laughs> But um, anyways, so I did pick up for the kids that um, I work with in the group home uh, two treats each for Valentine's because I like to do little Valentine's Day things and I just wanted to do something for them and they were each a dollar. So that is $20 um, that I spent on those two things. I'm looking over there. I think uh, that is the only thing that was not um, included in everything that I showed you guys over here. Um, but yeah, like I said, I'll go ahead and put all of the totals on there and then hopefully I'll also have the totals um, For the month of January and you'll have to let us know let everybody else know what's your guys's budget. What's your family size? Um, did was my budget like super high? Is it super low? Is it pretty average? You'll definitely have to let me know um, But otherwise that is it. Thank you guys so much for watching this video if you liked it don't forget to give it a thumbs up subscribe if you want to stick around and we'll see you in the next one bye